Good Thursday evening and welcome to the NCW Life Evening News. I'm Grant Olson. Before we get to today's top news stories, let's take a quick look outside our weather window and what a nice warm up we're seeing out there this afternoon. And it was a nice one as we take a look up the Columbia River from our Rondo Rock uh, Sky Fi Tower camera and a beautiful day today. Some cloudiness out there, but a lot of blue sky and lots of sunshine. A bit of a breeze too. It made for just a really, really nice Thursday, didn't it? But things will begin to change as we move into the end of the week, especially tomorrow. Thunderstorm in our forecast as an area of low pressure slides down from British Columbia. We are in the scattered shower a thunderstorm category here in the Wenatchee and Moses Lake areas, but to our north, OMAC, and especially to our east around Spokane, there's a good chance there that you could see some pretty amazing and pretty strong thunderstorms as we get into Friday afternoon. We will talk much more about that coming up. Also, your Memorial Day weekend could be a wet one on Saturday too with chance for showers. I think it will be more of just a rain event Saturday than thunderstorms, but we still could see a stray thunderstorm Saturday before things get very nice on Sunday, Monday, and early next week with temperatures back in the lower to mid 80s. Your complete weather forecast coming up a little bit later on. And now a few of the stories we're following for you tonight. A warden man has been sentenced to nine months in jail after what began as an investigation into a stolen vehicle in Soap Lake turned into a wild police chase. Home sales in the Wenatchee area dropped 22% in April compared to last year, despite the number of homes for sale was up 31%. And a bill that expands protections for undocumented immigrants in Washington state is signed into law by Governor Jay Inslee. But first, we begin tonight. Leavenworth Group plans to take the city to court over the development of an adventure theme park at the west end of town. Dwayne Gaynor with the Friends of Leavenworth says the group met last night night to discuss their next move. NCW Life Steve Hare has the latest. Earlier this week, the city's hearings examiner ruled in favor of the developer's request for a conditional use permit to build the park on a hillside overlooking Icicle Road and Highway 2. Opponents claim the project will worsen the city's traffic and parking problems and conflict with the town's Bavarian theme. Gaynor said after meeting Wednesday night, there was overwhelming support for having this go to Chelan County Superior Court. In his words, he said they've already received pledges for financial support, said the group plans to hold another community meeting before deciding a course of action. The group has 21 days from the date of the hearing examiner ruling to file an appeal. Steve Hare, NCW Life News. A warden man has been sentenced to nine months in jail after what began as an investigation into a stolen vehicle in Soap Lake turned into a wild police chase to Cooley City. 23-year-old Tristan Duplican initially pulled over for a Soap Lake police officer who had noticed that the license plate number on his Honda Prelude was registered to a different vehicle. But as the officer was walking up to his car, Duplican fled, reaching speeds exceeding 110 miles per hour on Highway 17. The prelude ran over spike strips. Then Soap Lake Police Chief Ryan Cox used a pit maneuver to send it into a ditch on Pinto Ridge Road. Duplican pled guilty to multiple charges in Grant County Superior Court. Home sales in the Wenatchee area dropped 22% in April compared to last year, despite the number of homes for sale was up 31% compared to last year. According to the monthly real estate snapshot report from Pacific Appraisal Associates in Wenatchee, year-to-date sales are also down 15%. However, the median sales price is up once again, up 8% uh, 8 in April to nearly $340,000. The average sales price in April was also up 4% at $358,351. That's compared to $343,480 in April of last year. Well, a bill that expands protections for undocumented immigrants in Washington state is signed into law by Governor Jay Inslee. The new law adds new rules that restrict law enforcement from asking about citizenship status. Governor Inslee commented during a bill signing ceremony in Olympia yesterday. Our state agencies are not immigration enforcement agencies. Washington state will not be a willing participant in pro, uh, carrying out mean-spirited policies that break up families and compromise our national security and our community safety. 
This bill establishes guidelines for the sharing of information between state agencies or law enforcement and federal immigration officials. It affirms that we will not discriminate against individuals based on their citizenship or immigration status. The legislation creates the Keep Washington Working Statewide Work Group in the Department of Commerce to develop strategies for expanding immigrants' career pathways and Washington's ability to provide new business and trade opportunities. And I'm glad that our state is helping our dreamers and their educational dreams as well. The new law is similar to measures adopted by other so-called sanctuary states and expands upon Inslee's 2017 executive order that applied only to state agencies. Coming up next, the small town of George in Kittitas County is the latest rural recipient of fiber and broadband internet courtesy of Microsoft. A piece of Wenatchee history has the potential for commercial redevelopment, we'll tell you where, and we'll let you know about some of the events happening around the Wenatchee Valley this weekend. I'm Grant Olson and you're watching the NCW Life Evening News. We get to a point where people are really like, okay, I have these weird things going on and they just lay it all out with us and that you can tell they're like kind of embarrassed and we're like, we've heard it all, we love this and we know exactly what you're talking about. And you can tell they're like, oh, you know, they came in thinking, how am I gonna talk about this? To me, there's nothing else in the world quite as special as when a baby is born and why would I wanna do anything else? <laughs> The best pizza in the known universe is right here in downtown Chelan, so come on up. For the best locally crafted beer and barbecue in Chelan, come on up. For the best down-home scratch country cooking in North Central Washington, you'll find it in Manson. Come on up. Come on up. Come on up. Come on up. At some point, we realize that value and practicality go hand in hand. A time when an unnoticed accumulation of items has become burdensome. These possessions still have value, but now lack usefulness. Donate your unwanted items to Goodwill and become a job creator. Your donations allow Goodwill to provide much needed training to job seekers in our community. And that's pretty useful for everyone. Be a job creator. Donate. Goodwill. There's more behind the store. Welcome back. In another news, the small town of George in Kittitas County is the latest recipient of fiber and broadband internet. Grant County is part of Microsoft's TechSpark initiative to foster new economic opportunities in central Washington, including expanding broadband to underserved areas often lacking connectivity. A $200,000 grant to Grant County PUD expedited broadband internet access to schools and homes in George. This means students can access online resources or distance learning, residents can access services such as telemedicine, and local businesses such as agriculture can leverage technology to boost yields. A ribbon cutting ceremony was held at George Elementary School on Tuesday. Well, a piece of Wenatchee history has the potential for commercial redevelopment. The city's first jail was built in 1906 and then later used as a stately home that overlooked Wenatchee Avenue. The abandoned building is for sale and was among several downtown buildings that were profiled this week in a downtown possibilities tour hosted by the Wenatchee Downtown Association. The two-story brick building is one of the town's treasures that WDA Executive Director Linda Haglin says has great potential for restoration. It is now up for sale and it has been old and in disrepair and it is now tourable. Um, Glenda from Still Properties has that listing and we're going to get in to see it. And I'm going to tell you it's one of the most requested buildings yeah. to tour because everybody just wants to see what that original jail looked like. The building is owned by the Deneen Family Trust. The minimum asking price is $200,000. Well, time to check in with NCW Life's Megan McPherson to find out what's happening around the valley this weekend. 
Here's a look at what's on tap this weekend around the Wenatchee Valley. Lake Chelan Pirate Fest takes place this Friday through Monday in Leffler Field in Manson. Paradise Amusements will be providing the festival with a fun-filled, action-packed carnival midway with rides and attractions for all ages. The Lake Chelan Pirates, Pirate Entertainment, Vendors, and Great Foods start off a summer of pirating fun at Lake Chelan. Join area naturalists from the Wenatchee River Institute for a free guided spring tour along the Waterfront Park Trail in Leavenworth this Friday from 10 to noon. Learn about local and migratory birds, flowers, cultural history, and more. The walk begins at the Wenatchee River Institute at 10 a.m. Drop-ins are welcome and reservations are required for groups of eight and over. Join the NCW Hispanic Chamber of Commerce and NCW Hispanic Empowerment Fund for their annual banquet this Friday at Pibus Public Market at 5.30 p.m. Come gather to celebrate the achievements of community members and students. Be inspired by their personal stories of courage and grit. Keith Moon, The Real Me is this Friday at 7.30 p.m. at the Numerica Performing Arts Center. In this play, Keith Moon takes the audience on a journey through his early struggles, his joining the Who, and their rise as one of the world's greatest rock bands. By the show's end, the audience intimately knows the man behind the myth, his acute vulnerability and insecurity, and his struggle to escape the ever-looming rock and roll crash landing. And finally, there will be an Iris Flower Show at Pibus Public Market this Saturday from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Come see the 2019 Iris Flower Show and Sale in the main concourse. For more information on this weekend's events and others, visit the community calendar at ncwlife.com. You're watching the NCW Life Evening News. Coming up next, tonight's feature story and your complete local weather forecast. That and much more still to come on the NCW Life Evening News. Stay with us. Family roles change with time. You may find yourself being an unpaid caregiver to a loved one. Caregiving can be rewarding, but also stressful. Taking care of yourself is vital. Aging and Adult Care of Central Washington has low or no cost services for unpaid caregivers, such as in-home support, care supplies, and counseling. Connect in your local area by calling Aging and Adult Care at 800-572-4459 and mention you're interested in caregiver support. has Motor Trend's SUV of the Year and Truck of the Year. That's right, Town Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram has the all-new Jeep Wrangler and the all-new Ram 1500 pickup. Or get the best of both worlds in the new Jeep Gladiator. Visit Town Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram today for more information on these award winners and see why there's no reason to leave town to buy your next vehicle. Welcome back to the NCW Life Evening News. Time now for our weekly kennel cameos feature from the Wenatchee Valley Humane Society. Tonight, NCW Life's Megan McPherson introduces us to Bertha the Cat. the development officer of the Wenatchee Valley Humane Society and joining us once again is Big Bertha. Yeah. Bertha's looking for a home. She is. She is such a good girl. She is 
one of the most loving cats that has been in the shelter, I think. She's just super affectionate, loves to be petted, she likes to play string. She was adopted, actually, from last time you were here. Um, but she does have a skin condition, so she does require um, a specific food. But that's a really easy fix, and I mean, for all this affection, it's a pretty good trade-off. <laughs> Very sweet. How is she with dogs and kids? Um, we aren't sure how she is with kids or other cats. We do know that she doesn't get along with dogs. Okay. So quiet home. Yeah, quiet home. You know, she's she's fun. She she likes to play. She's a little guard at first, but you saw yeah. when we were playing with her before. Um, you know, once she kind of it takes her a couple minutes and she gets some trust build up and then. Then she's good to go. You're gonna go, aren't you? <laughs> and if someone's interested in adopting her, what should they do? They can come down to the shelter. Um, they can visit with her. We have to get a queen room, see if Bertha's the right um, cat fit for their family, and then they can take her home. She's ready to go. The Wenatchee Valley Humane Society is located at 1474 South Wenatchee Avenue and is open Monday through Friday from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. and Saturday and Sunday from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Give them a call at 509-662-9577 or visit their website at wenatchehumane.org. This has been Kendall Cameos at the Wenatchee Valley Humane Society. Time now for a check of your North Central Washington weather forecast, and there's a lot to get to, but before we do that, let's take a gorgeous look outside our weather window this afternoon from our Arondo Rock SkyFi Tower camera, looking back up river towards Arondo. A lot of times we have it flipped around and we're looking at Turtle Rock this time. Just a few clouds, and you can see maybe even some showers coming down for some clouds that are up in the Okanagan County area, and that uh, shower activity will just be on the increase as we get through the day today into tonight, and especially especially overnight and into tomorrow. But as far as today goes, boy, it was a nice one, wasn't it? Nice and warm out there. Temperatures above normal. Officially 81 degrees out there this afternoon. That's above our normal of 73. 53 is where we started the day, and that's about where we should be for this time of year for overnight lows. Record temperature 93 set back in 2001. Our record low 1975 the year when it was 38 degrees. Sunrise this morning was at 515 and the sunset will be tonight at 840. Now let's put this uh, weather map in motion. There's a lot to get to at least over the next 48 hours or so tonight. Partly cloudy skies in our forecast. Breezy conditions. Not bad. Maybe 10 miles an hour or so. But overnight tonight, thunderstorms will begin to develop. Here's an area of low pressure that's coming down the front side of this high pressure ridge. And it's going to start wrapping some moisture around our way. And there will be enough instability. We could see heavy downpours of rain. Thunderstorms with possibly thunder and lightning associated with that as well. Friday, our best shot for that. Saturday, we're going to stay on the mostly cloudy side. We'll see about a 40% chance for rain showers on Saturday. The big news, it will cool down at least for a day or two on Saturday as some colder air begins to sag down along the front side of this ridge. There's high pressure and that's not moving much. So by Sunday, it will regain some power. We'll still see maybe an isolated shower on Sunday, but we will begin a nice warm up. By the time we get into Memorial Day Monday, it will be gorgeous. Mostly sunny and warmer. Temperatures a lot like we're seeing out there today, except more sunshine. So if you're lucky enough to have the day off Monday, it should be a great one to get outside. Even warmer on Tuesday, mostly sunny. A ridge of high pressure beginning to build on the Pacific Northwest. We're also seeing high pressure all over the western United States, way back into even the central part of the country. And that trend will continue even into our midweek Wednesday with mostly sunny skies and unseasonably warm temperatures high then in the mid 80s. Let's take a look now at your quick lube and tune weather forecast tonight. 57 degrees the overnight low. It's going to stay on the mild side. Cloudy, a 50% chance for thunderstorms and folks, this is going to be the kind of day tomorrow. I like to call them splash and dash showers. We could just see torrential rain and then the sun could peak out and then more rain after that. That's the kind of day we expect for Friday in 73. A 40% chance for mainly just rain showers for Saturday and 70 and then our holiday weekend gets nice partly cloudy and warmer Sunday at 76 82 on Monday for Memorial Day 84 Tuesday with mostly sunny skies and by the time we get into midweek Wednesday sunny and warm with a high then of 85 degrees and that's a look at your local weather forecast coming up next tonight's sports report with Eric Granstrom and more as the NCW Life evening news continues right after this.
when you have to get there on time and looking good. Call Fast Friendly Reliable AC Checker 663 Taxi. Available 24 7. AC Checker Taxi has the industry's only on time or it's free guarantee for your pre booked call. Some conditions apply. Call 663 8294. AC Checker 663 Taxi. Schedule your ride ASAP or book up to a year in advance online at acchecker.com. American Classic Checker Taxi 663 Taxi. That's 663 8294. With 15,000 square feet to explore, you'll find something special at the Antique Mall at Cashmere. For the do-it-yourselfers and those with a keen eye for making something old, fresh and new again, the Antique Mall at Cashmere is the place to come find your next project. From the coin enthusiasts to avid collectors, Antique Mall at Cashmere has treasures in every corner. Come find your treasure today. Antique Mall at Cashmere's friendly staff is here to help. Stop on by today. Are you watching me? If you're watching me and you are a business owner in North Central Washington, your potential customers could be seeing your TV commercial right now. With Solely on Broadcasting, TV advertising is effective and affordable. Place your ads on the network best suited to your potential customers or get top of mind awareness with 16 cable networks including NCW Life, your local TV channel. Give Solely on Broadcasting a call at 888-2020 today to see how easy and affordable it is to advertise on TV. What's your auto mocha emergency? It's a Frappita mocha with whip. The espresso shakes are my most favorite because I can get any flavor. Uh, peanut butter chocolate Frappita. Definitely the espresso shakes. My favorite is the mocha Frappitas. A peach Red Bull. a sports update on the NCW Life Channel. And a happy Thursday for you if you're a Mariner fan. Things are not so happy these days. Mariners used to be the hottest team in baseball. Of course, that was the first two weeks of the season. Now they are certainly not. Mariners have fallen to last place in the American League West. They continue to slip further and further under 500. Uh, they lost yesterday, too, to the Texas Rangers. Texas ended up sweeping aside the Mariners. Marco Gonzalez, former Apple Sox pitcher on the mound. He went seven innings, looked good, didn't get any run support, though. He gave up, uh, what, one? One earned run on seven hits, three strikeouts. Hunter Pence, two for four for the Rangers with a solo home run of the seventh. That was the difference in the ballgame. Seattle had runners on board in the eighth and ninth, could not push a run across. Gonzalez, the second straight former Wenatchee Apple Sox starter for the Mariners following Tommy Malone on Tuesday. Today's an off day. The Mariners begin a series in Oakland tomorrow. Wade LeBlanc on the mound against Daniel Mengden. That first pitch at 7 7 Let's catch you up to date on the American League West scoreboard as we open up the Les Schwab scoreboard. Oakland's Frankie Montes dominated Minnesota's lineup in a 7-2 win. The A's sixth straight victory. Chicago turned a 5-4-3 triple play and Charlie Tilson hit a grand slam home run as the White Sox beat Houston 9 to 4. The rain stopped prior to the game time, but Cruz couldn't get the outfield dry, so yesterday's scheduled game between Minnesota and Los Angeles being made up today. Well, the state track and field championships also beginning today. The 2A, 3A, and 4A meet is at Mount Tahoma High School in Western Washington. The 1B, 2B, and 1A championships being settled at Eastern Washington University in Cheney. Wenatchee takes a contingent of 22 competitors to South Tacoma. Logan Easley and Isaac Wellborn, the only representatives for the Eastmont track squad. As usual, Area 1A teams will be well represented at the meet in Cheney over the next three days. Cascade travels with 10, Kashmir has 15, and Chelan 12, all vying for the title of state champions. Meanwhile, area smaller schools take a total of 33 athletes to compete at the 1B, 2B meet in Cheney. Manson has a complement of 12, Eniat with 19, and August Caloris and and Alex Poppy representing Waterville Mansfield. Best of luck to all at the state tournament. Postseason awards continue to be released for the spring sports season. Let's run down the first team Big Nine baseball selections here locally. Wenatchee's Jared Rubash as a pitcher and second baseman. 
Ronan Haynes is a catcher, TJ Shirting in the outfield, and Jalen Hegum as a designated hitter. Meanwhile, Eastmont's Hunter Rule as an outfielder and Kai Morris as a relief pitcher. The second team selections were Wenatchee's Chandler Holiday at first base. Also, the uh, Panthers' Thomas Blakeney as a pitcher. Eastmont's Jordan Singleton, a catcher, and Kalen Massey as an outfielder and a pitcher. Moving to the first team All Caribou Trail League choices, Charles uh, make that Chelan's Gage Estes, Cade Christofferson, Brecklin, make that Brecken Sporcine, Colt Corrigan, Bryson Darlington, Quinn Stamps, and Sam Austin. Also, Cascades Conrad Hassey selected to the CTL first team. Caribou Trail League second team selections, Chelaners Connor Wilson, Cashmere's Cole Scott, Brooks Elliott, Braden Weatherman, and Corey Phillips. Also, Cascades Ben Sunich. Congratulations. Congratulations to Chelan's Gage Estes. He is the CTL Player of the Year. Turning to softball. All right, we'll start things off on the Big Nine side. First team selection at pitcher, Eastmont's Taylor Files. At catcher, Kylie Hines of Eastmont. And the Wildcats, Maya McGuire in the outfield. Second team selections, Wenatchee's Michaela Michael at pitcher. And Olivia Ramirez out in the outfield. Eastmont's Emily Craddock at third base. And Kobe Voshal at shortstop. Kobe, by the way, is the Player of the Year offensively in the Big Nine. Congratulations to her. Turning to the Caribou Trail League, all league selections. First team, Cascades True Merriman, Sarah Paulson, Kaija Lovelady, and Renee Lambert. Cashmere's Elizabeth High and Chelan's Lexi Gleesman. Second team selections included Cascades Madeline Shufflebean and uh, Alondra Acevedo. Cashmere's Stormy O'Keefe and Peyton Brown and Chelan's Sierra Shively and uh, Carla Goodman. Player of the Year, Cascades True Merriman. There you go, the rundown of the latest honors for postseason for the spring sports season which wraps up this weekend. That's a look at sports news. I'm Eric Grandstrom on the NCW Life Channel. Grant, back to you. Thank you, Eric. And recapping tonight's top story, a Leavenworth group plans to take the city to court over the development of an adventure park, uh, a theme park at the west end of town. Dwayne Gaynor with the Friends of Leavenworth says the group met last night to discuss their next move. NCW Life Steve Hare has the latest. Earlier this week, the city's hearings examiner ruled in favor of the developer's request for a conditional use permit to build the park on a hillside overlooking Icicle Road and Highway 2. Opponents claim the project will worsen the city's traffic and parking problems and conflict with the town's Bavarian theme. Gaynor said after meeting Wednesday night, there was overwhelming support for having this go to Chelan County Superior Court, in his words. He said they've already received pledges for financial support, said the group plans to hold another community meeting before deciding a course of action. The group has 21 days from the date of the hearing examiner ruling to file an appeal. Steve Hare, NCW Life News. All right, before we let you go tonight, all many of you will be leaving town tomorrow to your favorite campsites or maybe to a relative's house this weekend. Let's take another look at that quick lube and tune forecast and see what you can expect as we make our way into the upcoming weekend. It'll be a nice one uh, the rest of today. Tomorrow, though, Better keep a heads up if you are traveling, especially east. Cloudy skies, a 50% chance of thunderstorms and 73. Saturday could be a wet one as well on our holiday weekend. Mostly cloudy, a 40% chance of showers. Will also be our coolest day at 70 degrees. And then towards the tail end of our weekend, a holiday weekend, nicer. Sunday, partly cloudy and 76. And by Memorial Day Monday, mostly sunny and warmer with a high on Monday of 82 degrees. And that's going to do it for our newscast tonight. For more on these stories and other news from around North Central Washington, you can find us on Facebook or our website at ncwlife.com. And remember, if you see news happening, we'd like to hear from you. You can send us an email at news at ncwlife.com or give us a call at 888-6295. Also, keep it right here on the NCW Life channel tomorrow morning for Wake Up Wenatchee Valley with host Dan Koontz. I'm Grant Olson. Thanks for joining us and have a great night. CW Life Channel is your home for local news, local weather, and events including live local high school sports. Watch inspiring local shows featuring local people. Don't miss Wake Up Wenatchee Valley. Let's learn. Guada TV. Street Talk.
talk and other stuff. The 12th District. Life with Lisa. And the Arbiter of Stoke. NCW Life Channel is your local TV station. Hey there, Wenatchee. I'm Sean Lee, and I'm inviting you to check out the NCW Movie Guide to keep up on what movies are playing in our town. Hi, I'm Darcy Christofferson, Administrator of the Washington State Apple Blossom Festival, and you are watching the NCW Life Channel.